Hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Let's go ahead and share everywhere while I wait for you all to come in. We share to It's So Sweet to Learn, So Sweet Academy, um, Teaspoon of Sugar. My chaotic embroidery. There we go. Um, brown. Uh, embroidery bows, final and more. Brown girls craft with cricket. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, don't go away. Beginner's Embroidery. Machine Embroidery for Beginners. That one. How are you all doing? I had one more I was looking for. I may have to come back and share it later. And as you all know, everywhere that you see me share to, go ahead and request to join their group too because, um, yeah, they have some great groups out there for embroidery. There's one more I can't think of. I'm going to have to do it in a moment, but I don't want to leave you all waiting. So, hey, hey, there's 20 of you all on here. What y'all got going on today? So, hey, Susan. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Belinda. Hey, George. Hey, Belle. Hey, Starla. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Carmelita. My hand is itching. Oh, are y'all superstitious? That means I'm getting money. I don't know. But my hand just started itching. Y'all, there are some fun superstitions out there. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Zaranda. Hey, Marla. Whew. Well, I saw um, Melissa say, what are we doing today? So I will tell you. Um, after I say hey to Denise, hey, Jamila, hey, Danielle. So we're going to do a um, left chest. No, it's actually, I think it's going to be a right chest placement on a jacket. I've already done some of the pre-work. We are going to do the number one. It's like the easiest, hardest thing. I don't know what it is. It's something about um, left chest placement and all that stuff that it's easy. It's like really easy to do. It's like a simple name really fast, but that gives a majority of us the most problem because um, finding placement is just, it's, it's really hard to know how far down you want to come, how far over you need to go in, um, just all of that stuff. So I did a little pre-work already and I'm gonna use the floating method. And basically what that means is where you only hoop the stabilizer and you use some type of adhesive to hold it down and then you use pins or you can use like a basting stitch once you get it on there. So that's the technique we're gonna to use today. And I've already, like I said, I did some pre-work. Um, I did a little, I did a little, little something, something beforehand. So this is what we have here. It's just on a sweater or a, a um, what's this thing called? A, is it a hoodie? A zip up hoodie. I mean, technically. So there's a zipper and there's a hood. Zippy hoodie. Zipper hoodie. <laughs> so let me show you what I did. Um, this is for somebody. It's for a Girl Scout troop leader. And... She likes all of her stuff customized. So this is the back of it. It says, stay sweet. Oh yeah, I need to do something for mine. It says, so sweet. I should get something like that. That's cute. I like that font too. Look at that. That just gave me, I just never paid attention to it. She dropped it off last night. And um, so as you all know, some of you all know, I'm not doing as many orders anymore because I've been really focusing on the Academy. But some of my old customers, they just won't let me not. They just won't let me not. They just, they just don't want me to stop um, stitching for them. And she was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you don't do it, I don't have anybody else. So I was like, all right, what is it? Bring it over. And then when I found that it was just this simple, I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that. I can make time for it. And I'll bring y'all in on it. So boom, booyah. So, okay, see, this is, where is it at? This is what I mean when I said it is just hooped on there and it looks crooked. I think it's just the way I'm holding it because I held it up earlier. And I was like, oop, that don't look right. But yeah, it's, it's not crooked. I promise it just looks that way. I hope so um what i did i used the spray adhesive i'm going to tell you the kind of stabilizer i used in just a moment also 
but I used the spray adhesive. I marked my line. Did y'all do y'all see the struggle I had with this line? Do y'all see how double like listen? Y'all see where I made my little mistake? I was like, oh, that's not right. So, but anyway, I marked my line. I used my dot. This is a Target sticker. These are called Target stickers. Um, but I used it. I got it on here. I lined it up with the with the grid line that's already on here. So this way, when I know I put it on the machine, I know it's centered. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, hey, Tanika. No, I said that wrong. Hey, Takina, Delphine, and someone else is on there. Dawn, Infovit, how are y'all today? So I, um, I just went ahead and did the spray adhesive on the back and then I pinned it down. Okay, so that's basically what floating is. Um, I'm always surprised when I find out that people don't know what floating is because when I first started, that's all I knew. Like I, hooping, what? That to me, hooping was like the worst case scenario. Like only, only God hooped because that was so hard for me to get. But, um, but yeah, there are a lot of people out there that hoop everything and, um, they're blessed because if you know how to hoop a lot, then, then you are, you're talented. But I prefer, technically I prefer to float. Um, I have gotten better at hooping a lot over the last um, several years, but in my very beginning, I only floated. This is going to be, can you see, this is cutaway stabilizer because it is on a jacket that is stretchy. So, you know, you use cutaway stabilizer. You know, usually I have my shirt. If you wear it, don't tear it, stabilizer. Um, but yeah. All right, I think I've rambled on enough about that. And, oh, one thing I did not show you that I meant to. So this side has a little design already. So what I did, I just used one of my dots and I found the center of it. So I let my center here tell me what my center of this was gonna be. So technically the center of my name is the same amount down from the top and over from you know the sides as this little um, shamrock. Shamrock? No, it's a Girl Scout thing. It's like one of those um, Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Does that make sense to you all? I hope so. So are y'all ready? Let's get into this one. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Shirley. And she wants fuchsia. Guess what? My machine is already hooped with, I mean, it's already threaded with fuchsia. I was going to use either this machine, my PE 800, or the, um, I have an novice. Did I tell y'all I have a novice? A novice NS 1150E. So technically, I don't have it. It's my mom's, but she let me use it. All right, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to turn it back off and so I can start at the beginning for you all. So this is a different tripod that I have here. So bear with me. It's not my usual. This tripod is not used to, to the fun that we usually have together. Let's see here. And I don't, you know what? It's kind of screwy. I don't think I really know how to get it. Uh-oh, what are we doing here? Okay. It's not, it's not a tripod. It's me. Oh, I definitely don't use this one on the regular. I should have gone and got my other one. Can y'all see? We just gonna we gotta we gotta go with that because this let me see. It has so many different things on it. Oh, I have it backwards. That's what it is. It's backwards. Oh well, okay, we'll figure this out. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's gonna work. That's gonna work for right now. Hey, Jeff. All right, I turned it on. Go ahead and let it move. Get all that into place. Recall the previous memory. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And put a USB on the side. Oh, I have a question. Hey, so all of you all that are on here, I know a few of you saw where I um, posted my text reminder number so that you can be reminded of when I'm gonna go live or if I have any special deals or anything coming out. And a lot of you guys text that number and actually got the reminder. So if you're on here because you got the reminder, give me a thumbs up or give me a, like say, hashtag reminder or something like that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
Um, okay, here we go. Hold on. I was trying to just kind of chat while I wait for that to come up. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, text the word so sweet to seven seven nine four eight. That sounds like a commercial, like I'm doing a commercial. Seven seven nine four eight. Text the word so sweet to seven seven nine four eight, and you will get uh, reminders to help you remember when I'm going live. <sighs> All right. So what I did to get here. I hit the USB thing. I let it come up. Yay, Jamila got the reminder. Zaranda got the reminder. Amelia, Dawn, Phyllis, yay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that for a lot of my other things that I have going on too. Especially like the tutorials and stuff. I don't know why I started this over. Now I have to go through all this. Oh, there we go. Um, so what I did, I pulled up. I'm going to scroll back. Select the one that I saved, hit set, and it's gonna bring it out of the um, it's gonna bring it out of like the little pocket thing, so all that stuff. But yeah, so you'll get reminders for any of the tutorials because I found that I was doing tutorials and a lot of people because of the Facebook algorithm were not. You know, I feel like that word has just become too much into our vocabulary now. That it's Facebook algorithm, Facebook algorithm. Oh my gosh, like I never. Would have thought I needed to know those two words in a sentence. But it's pretty important because, you know, that's how Facebook puts stuff out for people to see about you. So be ye aware if you're posting your stuff online to sell that that algorithm is pretty important. All right. So look at here. It's right smack dab in the middle. I did a good job with that. Um, after I pulled it out of there, I'm going to go to end edit because I don't necessarily need to move it. I don't want to resize it. It's going to be... Three inches wide by 1.20 tall. I set it to be, I wanted it to be like one inch, but when that P, when you have anything with like a P in it, a Q in it, a, uh, what's another one, a G, anything that falls below the line, it'll kind of mess you up on the size because you'll think that it's going to be bigger, but it's just because it's accommodating that, um, the little tail on the alphabet. Okay. All right. So it's going to be, what did I say? Three. 0.7, so like it's not gonna be big at all by 120. So about like right there, by about right, like that much. Okay, not too big. It doesn't need to be. It's just a left chest placement. That's it. Or right. This one actually is a what is this? A right chest placement because there's something on the left. End edit. Now, I want to trace it around because I want to see. I wish I could get. I wish I had. I should have brought my other tripod in here. There we go. Is that better? Okay. All right. So um, that traces it around. And what tracing means is just you're just going to find your parameters to see where all it's going to stitch at. So I like to go right, left, and then top corner, other corner. Basically, what I'm checking here is to make sure my stitch field is okay. Make sure this thing is is pinned out of the way if it's if you have one of yours in your jacket. Hey, Craig. Hey, Marla. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I want to do. And then, even though it looks about, uh -oh. okay. I'm thinking I'm using my other machine. Y'all saw me pushing that down. Don't do that on here. I'm thinking I'm using my multi needle. Um, I want to go up just a smidge. Other than that, everything is good. And then once I'm okay with my placement, I want to take my dot off. Because you don't want to sew that dot down. Guess what? I've done it before. And it's not very fun to take off. It's darn near impo impossible to take off underneath the thread. So don't do it. And also, I'm going to use water soluble, sta water -soluble stabilizer. This is just to keep my, even though this is not very plush, it has a little bit of, a little bit of plush to it because there's, well, this one doesn't, but you know, sometimes when it has like the fleece filling thing on the, on the inside, but I just like it because it keeps my stitches looking all nice and pretty. On my other machine, I usually tape it down. On this one, I, sometimes I just pin it down and just kind of babysit the rest of it. I think I'm just going to do the two corners. But I'm going to be here. I'm not going nowhere. 
So once you're okay with that, once you're okay with your parameters, is that wash away? Yes, it is wash away. Um, once you get done with it, I just usually tear it off and hit it with steam or some water. Let me see. I'm gonna try one more thing, y'all. I know I'm driving y'all crazy with this tripod, but it's driving me crazy. Let's try lowering it. Tripods matter. Y'all, this is, I mean, when I tell y'all, this is just, it just feels too easy. Um, I did, I merged my letters together in So What Pro, but I didn't merge them all together. Like, I didn't merge the colors together, so they still have different ones. I did, like, the mist and then opal, and then I did, like, a dot. So, it's going to it's gonna stitch strange. That dot is going to stitch out last, but it's just the way I merged it in there. Oh, one, one other thing I do want to check before I go here. Uh-oh. When I draw that line straight across, I like to use my trace arrow just to make sure this goes straight across that line. And it does. It just lets me know that I am lined up correctly. Put my presser foot down. And y'all know what's next? Green means go. Say it. I didn't hear y'all. Say it. One more. Green, mean, green means what? Okay, go. I got you. Got you. Got you. Green means go. And that's it. Make sure this is out of the way. Or anything that's underneath. Make sure everything that is behind it that could possibly get in the way is out of the way. And I mean, see what I mean? That's what I mean when I say this is the how did I say it? Did I say it was the hardest, easy project? Probably. It's the hardest, easy project. Like, see how easy that was for me to do that part? To me, the hardest part is just finding the placement. I mean, finding placement, it, it does, it takes a little bit out of you. But, um, Zoranda said, how do you get the middle so accurate? So I measured it from both sides, and um, I used my dot to do it and that's something that I want to go over a lot more in the academy and actually you're you're in the academy so you'll see that too but doing a lot with placement I feel like lately I've been talking to a lot of people and the one thing that comes up the most is placement also just the confidence to to do other people's um, other people's items I can resonate with all of that because even now, as long as I've been stitching, sometimes placement gives me the blues. Especially if it's something like left chest. I did a lot of left chest placements yesterday. I had a, um, a, a couple other shirts and I had to do the name, the logo on one side and then the name on the other. Y'all, the reason why it gives me such blues is because I'm an eyeballer. I like to eyeball it, and you can't quite do that with left chest placement, especially if you have to match it up with something on the other side. So, um, I do use a placement tool called the placement guide, no, the placement helper. And as a matter of fact, while this is stitching, let me go get it and show you. Y'all, listen, watch this. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta hit go again. But watch, listen, y'all know when I walk away from it, everything just goes wrong, so. I'm trusting y'all. Watch it. one that I got is 
I'm telling you, I know, right, Jeff? Um, so the second one I had to get, I had to order it off Amazon because I lost it. I don't know. I just lost it. I don't know what happened. But it go, it comes from small, medium to extra large, and then there's another one that goes like um, 2x, 3x, 4x, like on up from there. So you see, and that's how you use it. It gives you the instructions right on there. But yeah, booyah. I know, Don. I thought about you when I walked away. I was like, ooh. <sighs> hope, I hope everything goes well while I walk away. It did. Oh, y'all, look at this. So this is funny. Not funny, but y'all know I tell y'all the story all the time about how I made enough money to take my daughter on the Disney cruise, um, stitching bunnies during this time of the year, like the Easter bunnies. This is one of the, the cups that I bought while I was on the Disney cruise. Turvis, you know, little Turvis tumblers. I seriously never thought about that until just now. Okay, um, Denise said, what is it called? It is called the Embroider's Helper. If I had known I was going to mention it, I would have linked it above. Um, I'll go back and link it. Let me link it. Um, and, uh, who, Zoranda, if you look in, in that group, in the, um, So Sweet Academy group, I'm going to cut this real quick. At the top under the units, I did a section on left chest placement. And I kind of compared this one to, there's the, the other one, the L-shaped one. I compared the two and I came out deciding that I, I prefer this one. There are a couple other ones that prefer the other little L-shaped one, but I prefer this one. And for some reason, it gives you two different placements. So that I was like, that's not cool. All right, now we're gonna do the dot. Like, so easy. That was, it was a five minute stitch. The name was Miss Opal. She's a very faithful customer of mine. And she just won't let me, she won't let me stop. So, all right, we're back. Hold on, let's see. We're back. All right, so this tripod, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to retire this tripod. What's the weather where you all are? Yesterday, it was, and today, it was 80 degrees here. It was like 83 here today. Um, in 80 yesterday, I, oh, it was great. So I went, got in my hammock yesterday as soon as I wrapped up with some stuff I was doing. And then I started, oh my gosh, you know, I burned, I had a fire last night, um, in my fire pit and I made some smoked turkey wings. Y'all, I do the most. I was laughing with someone. I do the most date night stuff single. Like, I had a whole vibe out there. And it was just me. It's just me. I mean, I guess it's a good thing I date myself. Isn't that right? Isn't it a good thing? Um, so, cut your strings. But it was a whole vibe, and it felt so good. And then today, I sat outside with my chair. I need some lawn furniture. Um... Who was that that asked me if this was water soluble? So it is, but usually when it's like small like this, I just peel it off. You just pull it. Just peel it on off. This is what we got. I'm gonna unhook it. It's warm in Tennessee. Okay. And then you can, okay, I'll do it this way. You can either unhoop it like this, or sometimes I will take it and like bunch it together and cut around it. But the main thing that I do when I'm cutting out from a some from, from, from something like this, I take it and I just let gravity or whatever pull it down. And that way I know I'm not cutting my garment. And I always cut on this side of it. You see how that's going? Where is it? See how that's going? So like gravity is pulling down on it. See that? 
And I usually I just do it pretty close. It's just my technique. You know me. Y'all know me. I, I just make stuff up that's easiest for me. Maybe some other rules out there, but rules are gentle guidelines. Rules are made to be followed. Let me not be a bad influence. 75 and 90% humidity. It was nasty wet fog. Oh. All right, so I'm going to take this one. Leave that dot for right now. So. Y'all know I got to look at it first just in case it's like crooked and I have to. Okay, it's good. Cool. We're good. Y'all okay with that? We good? All right, so see that? It should match up. I can't see because the comments. It should match up pretty well with the um, clover. So, um, let me know in the comments what you all have the most trouble with. That was so quick. So, that's why I'm like, we need to talk about something else. What else y'all got? And then it's still daylight out. Time is about to change. I'm super excited about that because now I can, um, it'll still be daylight when I'm done. I had gotten used to it getting dark in the middle of my life. So, I thought I had a piece of thread in my water. I was still going to drink it though. What's the size of the name? The name is Why is it only giving me that one? There we go. The name is 1.20 height by 3.07 width. I have trouble getting it straight and in the middle. Yes, that one, that's the main part. So another thing that you wanna use, and I had a one-on-one -on -one session on Saturday and we went over this. I showed her how to, um, how to use her grid and mark it and then also mark, excuse me, mark the same lines on her jacket or she was um, doing a t-shirt for a left chest placement logo. And I just showed her how to, how to mark the same thing. And all you do is line these up. This was the example. Why do I have the hiccups? Am I growing? Am I still growing? Let me, let me be big. Um, but you can, yeah, can you see the crosshair that I drew for her? And then I told her you line up that crosshair with this crosshair, like with the dot that I had. If you don't have that dot, I recently found this dot, these dots within the last two years. I, I didn't use the dot. I used my water soluble marker and I would make a dot, but if it was too dark and I couldn't see it, a little trick that I use, sometimes I'll put tape on it and then I'll mark on top of the tape. I've even taken the tape and gone like straight far across there and marked my line on, across the, on top with the tape. So, y'all, these, I mean, the fun thing about embroidery is the stitches have to be right. Now, that, that's, there's no compromising there. The stitches has to be right. You got to, for the main part, use the right stabilizer. But a lot of techniques, it's, it's subjective. Like, you can definitely um, find your own little way with stuff. Like, nobody, nobody told me to use that tape. I just was like, oh, my gosh, this is on black fabric. I can't tell where it's supposed to be. What am I gonna do? I found something that I could write on that I could see. That's it. I promise you, that is all. Judy said it rained all day. Ooh. Sorry to hear that, we had good weather. So I should probably stop bragging about our good weather while it's rainy there. Thank you, Denise, thank you, Belle. Um, 
I'm overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Well, Marla, you did one good thing. You joined the Academy. I saw that come through, so I got you. We are definitely going to um, get through this thing together. I always forget to put stuff on the invoice. Me too. All right. I, that one. How about this? Not only do I forget that, I just forget to do the invoice. Especially if it's someone that I know and like I have a couple people that I just do stuff for them all the time. And I'm like, I'll just, I'll invoice you. I, I shipped it. I'm going to see an invoice. Like a week later, she'll message me. She's like, Alexis, my invoice. I'm like, I, I know where you live. I'm not worried. But in general, if it's just, if it's not like one of your regular customers that always order from you, make sure you're invoicing them and make sure you're getting payment um, ahead of time because you'll get stuck with the product if not. Uh, let's see. I can't see. Oh, here we go. Totally random question. When stitching on bunny ears, the Walmart brand, what tension would you recommend on the PE 800? I wouldn't change the, the tension, to be honest. Um, there's been a few times that I found myself having to change it. And I, this time, I don't think I changed it because I forgot. But when I first got this machine, I always had to drop tension, drop the tension down to 3.2. I don't know. Maybe the machine has gotten used to me and it likes me now. And we have an understanding and I have just loved on it enough, but I haven't had to change the tension the way I used to. So I think it's preset to 4.0. I didn't know anything about changing tension until I got the PE 800 because on the 780, I didn't know how to touch the tension. I didn't know how to change it. I didn't, that one was like, it was more, um, it just, it wasn't as user easy. Not user friendly, but user easy. It didn't have everything just touch screen and everything. So I never touched the tension. But if you do find that you need it to go down, I YouTubed it one time and the young lady that I watched, she said that she usually drops hers down to about 3.2. So anytime I had problems, I started doing the same thing and um, that cut out on most of my problems to put it on about 3.2. Okay. Does that help, Monica? Um, hey Ann, hey Brenda. What type of water soluble do you use? That one, so there's, is it Sulky that has a brand that I get from Joann's? Or sometimes I use the one um, from Amazon. I'm actually working on updating my tool, my um, thing that gives you the beginners, all the neat things. So once we get that done, I will post it and then you'll see everything that you need, like the essentials, that essentials list that I had, it needed to be revamped. So I have someone helping me out with that. And as soon as we get it done, get it ironed out and all pretty and nice, I will put it out for you all. Absolutely. And you'll be able to click the link and go straight to, um, to purchase it. What program are you using to create your invoices? I use PayPal. I use PayPal or sometimes I use Square. Okay, is that it? Is that all the questions? This was super fast today. Super fast. I um, I had a little bit of a headache, like right here. I think it was from the chicken I ate. I ate some. I stopped at Bojangles today and had some chicken. And as soon as I ate it, I wasn't feeling well. So I think that means I need some, that. That was me. I was. I told myself I was eating better, and then I ate some chicken from Bojangles. So I think that was my body saying, "Remember what you promised us. You were gonna feed us better." And then boom. Eight chicken, so um, I said all that to say I feel better now because I took a Tylenol before I, came, before I started. Wave is pretty good too. I yeah, I downloaded Wave, but I never really used it. Um, do you ever run your single needle and your multi needle at the same time? I have, but I only did it because see, since I've started with this one and doing more of the lives and I wanted more space. Remember I sold my sofa cause right, right now, if we were, this were a couple months ago, we'd have been sitting on my sofa having this conversation, but my sofa was right here. I sold it and I moved all my single needle stuff out here. So I don't run them at the same time. Long story short, I don't because then I'd be jumping between two rooms. But when I had it in there with me, I would have my single needle on my um, 
my raised table and my multi meal right behind me, so I would go back and forth sometimes. I've done that with, um, I was doing masks and I wound up doing it for that reason. But typically I don't, I don't. Oh gosh, I created one in Word and make changes from job to job. No, Dawn, we're gonna have to go over that. Um, invoicing, let me write that down. Invoicing. Creating invoices. Now this is where, like, for the academy, and some of you all don't even know what the academy is. So the academy is, um, oh, look, I have the shirt on today. So sweet. this was not on purpose. This was basically the first thing that I picked up today. Um, but it is where I, it's a private Facebook group, and it is a, um, it's just a place where I help. It's a safe learning environment. It's a little more deeper dive into embroidery and we meet every Tuesday at 8 15 for a zoom and sometimes a live stitch out or sometimes some business advice or sometimes just some um, generalized embroidery help and a lot of my members have had great success from it so it's my membership program that's the word I was looking for it's my membership program and um, a lot of my members have had great success and have opened up an Etsy shop. As a matter of fact, in March, we are going to do our Etsy tutorial and training, and I expect that everyone in there will open up a shop and start making some money. Also, what else have we done? Oh, started our Facebook page, Instagram, posting more, all that fun stuff. So that's what the Academy is, in case you were wondering. But um, yeah, I get good ideas from you all when you're asking questions. So other than that, what else y'all got for me? That's it. Um, I am going to probably hit this with some water. That's how I'm going to get the rest of it off of here. Yay! And Sandra did her first applique today. Post it here and post it in the Academy so I can see it. Um, Brenda, do you have an Etsy shop? Post it so that I can see it. Everybody, do me a favor. If you have an Etsy shop and you are on here, wait. Okay, so first time out. So I do broadcast into several other groups. So make sure that if you're gonna do the next step that I'm gonna tell you, make sure you do it in the It's So Sweet to Learn group because I don't know what their um, rules are for posting links on their group. If you know for sure it's okay to post the link, then do that. Otherwise, I don't wanna get y'all in trouble. Don't, don't be like me, be better than me. Don't get in trouble. But um, if, you, if you're watching me from the It's So Sweet to Learn group, post your Etsy shop. Everybody else, do me a favor. If you see an Etsy shop, go like that person's Etsy shop. Go favor it so that we can get our likes and numbers up. Um, that's what's important for Etsy to show you off to other shoppers. So let's support each other. We are a community around here. Need help bad. Oh, okay. I can, I can definitely help you. Purchase ideas for the bags that I purchased. You need ideas for the bags that you purchased. Was that, which, I, which bags was that? Was that the, um... Was that the bags like these? Oh, so in last week, look, I still haven't even, I haven't even sprayed this to get the water soluble off. Um, but last Tuesday in the Academy, we started working on our Easter stuff. So I got this little cute little bag, this little bunny. At the bottom of it, it says Happy Easter. I did not do the front. So I didn't do this front part. I bought it just like this from Christmas tree shops. And on the back is where I put the name and the year okay and I, I need to put it in my Etsy store I, I use this one because it has like a little little hole in it I don't know why that happened I don't know how I missed that when I was buying it but it's gonna be for my baby so I'm not really worried about it but yeah so we um I showed everyone how you do this on a single needle and that's what we did I have an Etsy shop but I only have two listings I need help setting everything else up yes the bags from your blank seat. Oh yes, 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 yes. Those, those. But thank you for buying those. First of all, second of all, I need to do another D stash. Um, I will probably do this one via via uh, Zoom and share it. I think it might be a little bit easier if I do it that way. And then I want to have like maybe one or two other um, people on there and allow them to D stash and just you know that's just the idea I have. You know, you know me. I like to just extend everything out to everyone. Um, how did you hoop it? It's on the replay. If you go back and you look at the, um, 
the last live from Tuesday. I'll tag you in it, but it's on the replay, Marla. Carmelita said, yay. I don't know what you're saying yay to because I don't remember what I just said. I don't remember. But that's all. That's it. That's all, says the clock on the wall. Y'all know I could sit here and talk to you all forever. Forever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Um, Brenda, do me a favor, Don. Can you reply? I don't know if I can. I was going to say, can you reply to... Um, here, let me see if I can just type it in. I will, I will type it there for you. Oh, here we go. www to go find out about Karen's www dot so sweet. Uh oh, academy dot com slash academy. So it's www.sosweetacademy.com slash academy. And that is um, the information for joining the academy. It'll tell you on that page. It just gives you a little bit of overview of what all we do, um, what all I offer, and then the pricing. It gives you the annual price for if you want to just do the um, annual enrollment or if you just want to do the month-to-month, -month, cancel at any time, either one. Whatever price you join is what price you're locked in at. So I don't do like some, oh, guess what? Price is going up. Everybody goes up. No, it's not like that. So. Whatever you join is what you stay at. Which videos to watch, YouTube or Facebook? The ones in, the, I'll tag you. I'll show you, um, I'll message you. But it is in the Academy and it has, um, it's the one that says the Zoom from the, um, from the training. Sing again. No, Dawn, stop it. Is there a post for your Etsy shops? I need some recommendations. Is there a post for your Etsy shops? Meaning mine, like my personal? I only have one. I only have one. Only have one. And um, last year, so when I, so I did a lot of, um, oh, I did a lot of playing around with my Etsy shop last year. I took a couple of trainings and I did a lot of trial and error with mine just to see what would get my sales up, what would get my likes up, what would get me um, different, just, you know, money making through there. And I found that it was really easy to do the shop. And I don't say really easy just to make it sound like it is really easy. I mean, it was, it was fairly easy once you knew what you were doing. So, um, fairly, who's that said I did the Academy Kickstarter? Okay. Um, but once I, once I did the shop and I was able to pick um, my listings and do all that, it was, it was just a matter of putting your pictures in there, right? And y'all, these hiccups are killing me. Putting um, your listings in there right and having good pictures and having a good description. I promise you that, it, I promise you that's all. You should create an order book like the uh, Pretty Planner. Ooh, let's talk about that more, Jamila. I have a couple other things. Y'all, I have so much stuff I want to do. I really, 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 really wish I could just say, oh, I want to do this. And then, like, I have someone to create it for me. But, like, the problem is I have to create all the stuff. And sometimes in my brain how I want to create it and how tech savvy I am not, those two don't match up. Because I, um, if you look at my website, you will see I'm not tech savvy at all. It's just like the easiest from click to click to click, and then you get there. What? <laughs> I will not, Don. Don said, drink water upside down. Works every time. Say no to hiccups. How does that even work? Drink water upside. I think I would choke. I think I would aspirate. I don't know. I don't know if I want I don't know if I'm trying that one. So... Listing and pictures, yeah, yeah. The um, those pictures, I've looked at a couple of other shops, um, not you all shops, but some just random shops when I just be on there looking and searching and stuff. And pictures really matter, especially when I'm shopping. I look at. Let me tell you what I look at. 
and keep this in mind, keep this in mind. When you have an Etsy shop and you, um, either if you create files or if you stitch out stuff, pay attention to how your stitch outs look. Because I know me personally, um, I'm looking at those comments. I mean, I'm looking at your pictures or their pictures, not yours in particular, but I'm looking at their pictures before I'm buying a file to see how the stitch out looks. And if the stitch out for the file that is there does not look good, so let's say they someone did a practice stitch out and it doesn't look good, automatically in my head, I choose not to buy that file because I don't want my stitch out. Like I always, I'm like, is that the file or is that user error? But I just, I don't buy that file. So before I buy a file, I do go through and I look at the reviews of the stitch outs. Does anybody else do that or is it just me? And also if it is something that is custom made, I go and I look at the reviews and I go and look at, um, I go and look at how the examples look because I mean we want nice stuff and we want to create nice stuff so those those things are important Dawn okay please do Dawn says she's gonna do me a video of her drinking water upside down and sending it to me yes please I want to see that My son made me order a mini photo studio. So you know what I have, y'all? I have a light box. I have like a really big light box that I use. I have a ring light. Um, I have a dress form. I have hardwood floors. I have a distressed kitchen table. And I use all of that for taking my pictures. And then sometimes if the lighting is right, I will, do, oh, prime example. Here, here are my patches. I will, let's say I'll have something like this and I'll just take a picture of like a good angle of my hand holding it up, you know, or something like that. Sometimes you can do that. I mean, it doesn't always have to look so polished, but it just does it, but it, I'm supposed to say, but it has to look pretty. It does, but it, it, you know, you want it to have some nice look to it, some nice presentation look. You don't, you want the, the photo quality to be good. Get your colors as vibrant, but keep them as true to color as possible when you're posting and stage it. So after we stitched this one out on Tuesday, um, I showed everyone how to stage it with um, eggs, with Easter eggs and what is it I called it, tinsel? Okay, it's grass, but still I, I staged it. So staging your pictures is important and um, lighting is important. If you don't have a light or a ring light in the house, go outside, natural light is the best, okay? We can't really recreate that. Natural light is really good. Picture sell the product. I hate seeing digital renders on sales posts. Oh, I agree. But guess what I have on mine, Jeff? I have a digital one. But yeah, I agree. Um, pictures definitely sell it because then you can see how it actually, it actually stitches out. So that is a very good point. I made a ring light, but I need to stand for it. You made a ring light? What? I have a stump in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, so stuff like that, sometimes sometimes, just random stuff looks good with it. Like, think about it. How random is, for example, Jeff's stump in the backyard? How random is it if he would put, like, a necklace or something? Or like, let's say he was selling jewelry. Put a necklace on there and just still take the picture of it. It still looks cute, but it's staged. It's, it's pretty. Tinsel. Yes, I was using the word tinsel instead of grass. I I still think tinsel would have been an okay word. Yes, I watched the YouTube. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that video. She made a whole ring light. But um, before I had a ring light, I mean, before I had a photo box, I went to Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree and I got, not Hobby Lobby, Michaels, was it Michaels? Must've been Michaels, I think I went to Michaels and Dollar Tree and I just got poster boards and I used poster boards. Is that what you put on it for real? You put jewelry on the stump? Did I really just guess that? All right, y'all, I, I don't know, this stitch out was so fast that I just wanted to sit here and just chat it up with you. Just chit chat it up. Chat, chat, chat. But that's all I have.
Oh, okay, the freestanding lace earrings. Look at there. I just guessed that right away. See, because that means at some point people have used um, those stumps for jewelry and it, it makes sense. Don, I will not sing for you all. Y'all, Don, for some reason, likes to watch me make a fool of myself. And I think I do that enough, okay? I think I'm enough of you guys' um, entertainment that I can go without singing because I cannot sing. I try, but I cannot sing. I don't, my voice is not even conducive to singing. My voice is so just up and down. I'm not a singer. There goes my hand itching again. I wonder if I got into something. I was outside. I'm allergic to some grasses. All right, so this is what we made today. Uh-oh. Let's move this. Move this on out of the way. Oh, that was a little bit of a sing. That was like, I, I carried a little bit of a tune. I love you too, Dawn. I love all y'all. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know how just, how much y'all motivate me. So this is what we did. We still have our grid lines on there. Okay, that's not work. Anyway, so we still have our grid lines on there because I measured it and I used my water soluble pen. I also used my dot to make it even with the design on this side. It is a, I think she, it's a um, Girl Scout. She's a Girl Scout troop leader for her daughter. And she wanted it in fuchsia pink. So that's what we did. Simple like that. I'm only charging her $10. It's just one little um, quick little simple for left chest placement. Um, yeah, I'd be comfortable charging anywhere between $10 and $12 for this. But she is one of my very, very faithful, loyal customers. So um, I made an exception and I took this order for her because I wasn't I wasn't taking a lot of orders right now. And I wanted to be able to show you all because after I did that live session with somebody yesterday, we did a one on one virtual session. Um, if you need some extra help, I do offer the virtual sessions um, and she signed up for it. And we actually did um, show I showed her how to fix her left chest placement that she was doing for a logo. Um, I just tuned in. Can I see what you stitched up? This? Yes, here we go, Stacy. Can you see it? Are you there? You there, Stacy? Um, thank you, Don. Thank you, Tiffany. I mean, hey, Tiffany. All right, you guys, so I gotta go pick up, I gotta go pick up the little one. She went and hung out with my mom for a little while. So it's time for her to come home. She gotta come back. Nice, and whenever you do sing, I'll pay for it. I'll play for you. Yeah, no, I guarantee your playing will sound better than my singing, okay? So make sure if you play while I sing, Elliot, make sure you, you play louder than I sing. That part. All right. All right. So I will see you all later. Academy, I will see you on Tuesday. Everybody else, I will see you right back here next Sunday, unless I go live for some strange random reason. Um, like last week I went live because I went check my mailbox and I found my Joann's coupons. And guess what? They didn't make it to the store with me. So I had to, um, I had to use what was online and the only reason I was concerned about it because usually when you have multiple ones, you can use all the ones that you have. So I did know that you could use the ones from online and from the app, but I, sometimes I thought that the, the circular gives you better coupons, but I don't think so. But if you have multiple and if your Joanne store is nice to you, they let you double up. So that's why I like to have all of them as possible. You're welcome, everyone. So yeah, let's get on these left chest placements. Let's 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 normalize left chest placements. Okay, let's normalize making them easier because they are boogers to do. If you don't know what you're doing, this particular one, I did float on a four x four hoop using my brother PE eight hundred single needle machine, and I used cutaway stabilizer, and I just. I also used water soluble stabilizer on top just to make the stitches pop a little more. You don't have to do it on every project, but I do it on the majority of my projects. So um, it's just personal preference, but okay. You guys have a good week. 
go love on someone, wash your hands, cover your sneezes, and just be a good person. Just be nice. All right. Enjoy. If you have, if you're having good weather this week, go out and enjoy it. If you're having bad weather, um, we will be praying for you. I don't think there's like any storms going on anywhere, but still, please post the placement thingy. I will. Um, I have, I actually have an affiliate link for it that I will post for you all. And um, when you see it, if you don't mind clicking on it, it helps me out a little bit. You know, it helps me to get more thread. That's what it does. It helps me to get more thread and keep these lights on so we can stitch. It's perfect and pretty. Thanks for all you do for us. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I will see you all later. Bye. Remember, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. This is the um, embroidery helper that they're talking about. This is the one that I used. I use for a majority of my placements. This, along with the Mighty Hoops um, hooping station and those dots, like those are all lifesavers. And I have another tool that I just started using once I get really good and proficient at it. I know a lot of you all have heard of it because you do stuff with um, Cricut, but it helps with embroidery too, but I will be introducing that to you all also. Cause you know, whatever I find that's cool, I'd like to share it with everybody. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye, be good. Uh oh, it didn't hit, it didn't end, so let's try it again. See y'all later, bye, be good.